Welcome back to The Great Outdoors. We're at Weaver's Archery in Middleburg with Keith Weaver. And Keith, next week you have another bow fishing tournament. We'll talk about that in a minute. But uh, what do you have for bow fishing here at Weaver's? So we have quite a bit. Uh, this is just a small display. Um, but for the average bow, um, here's a whole kit that you can get. Uh, and you can put this on pretty much any bow. It's got your uh, reel. It's got your two arrows with the safety slides. Uh, and it's got you uh, a, a good uh, roller rest. This can be put on almost any bow, uh, but then if you want to take that to the next level, why you can get an actual bow uh, that is made specifically for bow fishing. Okay. And, and how that differs is um, it stores energy at a different uh, draw cycle than a regular hunting bow. Uh, plus, I wouldn't recommend a hunting bow because they get dropped, they get stepped on, they get duff, uh, in the dipped in the river. You know, not something you probably want to do with your with your hunting bow. So, uh, got bows for uh, for bow fishing. Uh, this down here, this is a light, and I have one of these on my bow. It works like a charm. It, it mounts like right here, and uh, this wire comes down here. So when you're at full draw, you squeeze a little button there and it shines a light. You can follow the fish uh, if it swims out of the uh, light of your uh, boat. Um, we've got quite a few arrows. This is just a couple here. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the best points, bar none in my opinion, uh, is the grapple point from Interlock. This is a three barb. Um, they just really hold fish and when you're in a tournament and you got that big one on the other end, you want to make sure that, that it doesn't come off. Uh, and then to get him onto the boat, why yep. uh, sometimes uh, I really like uh, the four foot gaff, it just makes uh, landing them quite a bit easier. So lots of equipment, come on over, check it out. All this equipment, now let's show how it works, okay? Let's go on the river. Let's do it. Keith, right here. Oh, you're kidding, get that one by, please. Right there he is. I got one. Oh! Right in front of us, Keith, right in front of us. I can't. Got him, got him, got him. Oh, that's a pretty good one. Get the gaff, get the gaff. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Easy, easy, easy. Okay, coming right here, right here. Yeah! Oh! Get him, man. <laughs> like I said, I'm not an expert gaffer. Woohoo! Yeah, good. man. What's that? What can we get? This again is a common carp. This is a pretty good one. He's, uh, oh, I'm going to say about 20, 25 pounds. That's a good one. Yeah. Again, that's an invasive species, not native to Pennsylvania. Actually, the United States, really. So we're having fun cleaning up the rivers. This is great, I'm telling you. It's super addictive. Right there. I was going to say, John, you get him? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Huh? Yeah, that's. You got him? Do you need, do you need a gaff? No. Headshot. See the big girth on it right here? That's probably a female. Good shot, man. Thank you. Right in front of us. Ready? One, two, three. We both got him. Fast action. <laughs> Good shooting. Boy, another great time on the river, but the bow fishing tournament is next week. How do people find out to register? Uh, pretty simple. Uh, Weaversarchery.com. Call us. Uh, the best way to stop in, we've got the flyers made up. Um, you can answer all the questions. You can have up to four people on the team. Um, 
like you saw, it's just a lot of fun. And there's one more after this in July, July 7th and 8th. 7th and 8th, I believe, yes. Yep. So that's coming up so you can register for that one too. So lots and lots of fun. Come check us out. We're back at Sickler's Bike and Sports Shop, Clark Summit location right now with David Tamarans. And David, we're going to go around the store, take a look at some bikes today. We're going to start out with mountain bikes. What kind of mountain bikes do you offer here? Uh, we have a full range of mountain bikes for any kind of terrain. We have beginner bikes all the way up to top level race bikes, uh, everything in between. Okay, we have one right here. Uh, what is this one? It's a Cannondale. This of is the Cannondale Catalyst. This is the entry level bike that we sell. Um, it really covers all the bases. It has a 21 speed. It has a cable disc brake, a front suspension. It's really a great all-around bike for anybody that just wants to get out on the trail as a beginner or even an intermediate rider would appreciate it as well. And you have bikes for different levels too, right? Absolutely. Um, it ain't all size ranges, all price levels, all ability levels. Uh, one of the great things we have here at Sicklers is a, uh, the full women's line by Live Bicycles. These bikes are directly targeted towards women. Uh, they feature geometry and fit just specifically for women. They also offer a little bit softer graphics than some of the other bikes we sell. Giant is the only major brand com like completely committed to women's cycling. They have a full range of bikes all the way from children's bikes to women's race bikes, whether it be mountain, road, gravel, or anything like that. One of the biggest increases that we've seen so far to date is gravel grinding. Uh, it's basically a road bike that offers a little bit more relaxed geometry. You're able to put a little bit thicker, thicker tire on it and you can go the long distance off-road. Uh, dirt roads, gravel paths, uh, anywhere there isn't really a lot of traffic seems to get more popular. Um, right here we have a Salsa Warbird. Uh, it's the most popular gravel bike that we have. Uh, very, very comfortable ride. It's fast on the road. It's smooth off-road. The thicker tire that you get on there offers a more supple ride than uh, the thinner road bike tires. That type of handlebar offers a variety of hand positions. Rather than a mountain bike, you only have one hand position. And uh, when you're doing a longer ride, 30, 40 miles, you wanna be able to adjust your hands. Uh, it makes it a little bit more comfortable. Another popular bike that we sell here at Sicklers is the Plus Bike. It's generally a mountain bike with a three inch tire. They come 2.8 to three inches. Uh, the tire itself conforms to the trail a little bit better. So when you're going over rocks and roots, it uh, really, really smooths out the trail and gives you a lot of grip. Right here, we have a Salsa Pony Rustler. It's part of our demo fleet. These bikes here will give you an experience that you definitely could not get on a general mountain bike. They're great in the snow, they're great on loose soil, they're great on hard pack surfaces. I haven't really experienced a, a, a ride or a terrain that these bikes don't really perform well on. And finally, David, you do offer a lot of accessories here, including helmets and shirts and sunglasses and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, uh, we also carry seat bags, CO2s, uh, tire levers, mirrors, any kind of accessory you could think that you would need on your bike we have. How can people find out about Sickler's Bike? Uh, you can get us on the web at SicklerBikes.com or on Facebook. Coming up next on The Great Outdoors, we'll head to North American Warhorse to show off their ATVs. Plus, we'll take you on a tour of the Cabin Armory and Training Center.